What's up, Panda Parade? Karaku Zero here, bringing you a new VR chat tutorial. If you missed the last video on adding pickups to your world, you can check out that tutorial as well, as this is a start to finish series that we're going to keep building upon as we go. This video is the fifth video in my start to finish series on VR chat Udon world building. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add chairs into your VR chat world. A little self plug before we get started, I have made a VR chat world called the Panda Den that we'll be doing a role play in, so if you're interested in getting in on that, join my Discord for more information, the link is in the description below. I also stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash Karaku Zero, the link is also in the description below. Drop me a follow over there, I stream on Saturday and Sundays, and I like to chat with viewers so it's a fun time for everyone. So, oh, as you can see here, I have brought up our VR chat world. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, find where you want your chair. So, we're going to put two seats here on the couch. Um, so, you would want to, first off, uh, go to your VR chat examples folder. You get this just by putting in SDK3. Uh, and then you're going to click on the prefabs folder, and here you can see a bunch of different prefabs here. And uh, you're going to want the folder called VRC Chair. Click on that, and you'll see the prefab for the chair here. And the simplest way to do this is to just drag your chair out here. Uh, drop it where you want it. Uh, so this is where your character is going to be sitting. Um, but you're not going to want to show this chair mesh here. So all you're going to do is you're going to go over here to where it says VRC chair. You're going to click the drop down button. And where it says VRC chair udon, you're going to click on that. Then over here in your inspector, you're going to see mesh renderer. You're just going to uncheck that and boom. You have your chair there, but the mesh is not able to be seen. And that's how you add a chair into the world. Let's go ahead and go in-game and test it out. Alright, so here we are spawned into our VR chat world. We go over here and we see the couch. You see it says sit, and you click on that, and boom! You're sitting on the couch. W to get up, and voila! You have made your VRC chair. Now I know I made this tutorial for beginners to go ahead and get everything up and running quickly, but I'll briefly describe how the chair works so in case you want to make your own in the future. Um, so as you can see here, this is the VRC chair. Um, so what you have here which actually makes it a chair is called the VRC station script. Um, so the player mobility is immobilized, so that just means they won't be able to move. You know, you can move your head left and right. Um, and can you station from seated? That means if you're already sitting in another chair and you look over to another chair, you can click on the other chair and immediately move to be sitting in that chair from the chair you're already in. So if you don't want that to happen, you can uncheck this box here. The next thing that I want to point out is seated. So if it's checked on seated, that means your character is automatically going to run the animation for the seated position. And that will be on your avatar. So as long as this is checked seated, your avatar will be in the seated animation position. Uh, then player interlocation and player exit location is something you're going to need to make custom seats. And I'll be going over this in a later video, um, because we're going to be doing uh, the bed as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to lay down on the bed. Um, but basically, um, you see you have this exit here. Uh, and this exit is just an empty game object that shows where your character is going to be standing when you exit the chair. So basically, uh, on your VRC station, uh, your exit transform is going to be dragged over here. And the seat is the enter location, so that's going to be here. And uh, that's just dragged into the player enter location. 
Uh, so that's basically it. If you like this video and it helps you out, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you want to keep up with these tutorials as we come out, like I said, this is a start to finish series, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications to be updated when I release the next tutorial in the series. I'm Karaku Zero, and I will see you next time.